Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. In this video we are going to take a look at some Matchbox series models that are released in the same livery. National Parks, Inc. Construction and Ronak Equipment. So we start with National Parks that we first saw appear in 2007. Two five-pack releases and two mainline releases. I only have one of the mainline releases that you see in front of you. I'm not John Lambert, so I, sorry I have to disappoint you, but I cannot show you all of them. Now this first one here is not in the typical mint green color, it's in a matte white. So a few models were released in a different color than mint green. I'm going to show a few more of those. So let's start, this is on an American long card. Hummer H3. So it's got the National Parks logo on the side, Forest Ranger, there's different logos, this is one of them, you'll see the rest of them later on in the video. Nice model, mostly, most of the time they only have the side deco. Then we jump to 2010, so 2008 or two releases, I don't have those. And then it's 2010, the Volkswagen Beetle 4x4. So the same logo as on the Hummer. Mojave Sector. No, sorry, it's a different logo I see now. Yeah, so the Hummer has kind of a bear on it, on the logo. And this it's kind of hard to see, I've been looking at this in when I was preparing for the video. Kind of looks like a howling wolf or something, but it's it's something strange that is on there. Kind of hard to figure out what it is. Satellite communications. Got the big exhaust in the back. Plastic as part of, well, it's not part of the interior. So it's kind of a separate piece. Cool. So that's the first mint green one we saw, well, that I have at least. Um, the, there were previous releases, but I don't have those. 2011, we saw the International Workstar, the brush fire truck. So this one is still with a metal body. Nowadays, it's in a, it has a plastic body, unfortunately. Seven model it says on the base so here we got the uh, the bear logo again Forest Ranger Akim County Forestry Services so nicely tampered on the side plastic grill part of the base well base is actually black but there's a Great piece in between, it also forms part of the uh, top construction. Kind of a complicated construction, it seems. There's two metal parts on it. Uh, it seems, well, this is not metal. The black top is not metal. There's the, also only the doors and the hood bonnet. And then this, uh, this part in the back that is mint green, so yeah looks like a pretty difficult construction probably that's why they change it to plastic and also the weight probably then we go to 2012 so in 2012 apparently there was a, a series a mainline series it was called National Park in the US, but here on the short cards in Europe it was called Camping. So this is the Ford F550 Super Duty. There was a color variation of this one too in kind of a fluorescent green, a bright green. This one metal cab and plastic part in the back in white. 
This one is the uh, Howling Wolf logo, National Parks, Satellite Communications, and then something underneath that I can't really read. The other light bar is part of the window piece. Also from 2012, this Baja Bullet. So also from that camping series, number 2 out of 10. I also have a Caterham from that series, but it's got nothing to do with National Parks. So, just, so there's no point in showing that one. So this one has the, uh, what looks to be the bear logo on it. Wilderness Ranger. Special sponsor track 100. Two thousand thirteen releases were two in mainline. I don't have those. And then in two thousand fourteen, we got a five pack with a few vehicles in there. So this is the Prospector. Got a metal base and a plastic body. So here we got we get to see a different logo, the third version. So it's got kind of a roundel with some trees in it. Satellite communications. It's the same on the other side, kind of a camping vehicle. In that same five pack, we also saw one in a different color. So this is the Chevy Tahoe 97 model. And this one also has the a Roundel logo with the uh, trees in it. Rachel, uh, Ranger National Park. Firewatch. Two thousand fifteen. I don't ha have any of those, unfortunately. And then we go to two thousand sixteen. We got the scraper. That's what it's called by Matchbox on the packaging, unpronounceable. So this has kind of a moving part, the front part here moves. So it says Road Crew, it has the Roundel and Trees logo on it. And also in 2016, this was a new model in 2016 by the way, the 2015 Ram 1500 Police. So this one's got the Bear logo, Forest Ranger, Satellite Communications. Seems to have kind of a Circle Flame logo on it too. <laughs> Nothing to do with the Hot Wheels obviously. The push bar in front. Some kind of a light bar, part of the window piece. Then nothing in 2017. 2018 we got a 5-pack. The Ranger Rescue 5-pack. So here's the water hauler. This one also has the Roundel with Trees logo, road maintenance. So plastic water tanker and a metal cab. There was also one in there that was not mint green. The Rapids Rescue. It has the uh, Roundel 
with trees logo, national parks on it, white water rescue. But if you take the orange boat off, ta-da! You can see it has a mint green interior. So even in the cab, you can see some mint green in there. So that's where they hid the signature color of the series. And also in that five pack is this funny combination. Look how great that looks. <laughs> so this is the 4x4 Chevy Blazer with the horse trailer behind it. And the trailer hitch at the perfect height to pull this thing. The horses all fell to the back in there. So this one's got the bear logo. Park Patrol. So it also has a light bar on top. And then we, we here we have the pony trailer, metal base, plastic body. This one has another logo, different logo, so a roundel with a, uh, a mounted horse on it. Equestrian Ranger. Matchbox services, it says on the roundel, and it doesn't open anymore in the back either. So you can't really put something in there. Also, in 2018, we got this drill digger in the main line. The drill digger was also used in ink. We'll see that later on. So it's got the Randall and Trees logo, road crew. This thing goes a bit up and down and this thing turns also. So there's some uh, moving features there. Also in 2018 we got this Unimark U300 in the Mercedes 5-pack I got it from. So here we got the Bear logo, Park Patrol. It's got some deco in the front too, that's cool. Indicators, that's nice. Then in 2019 we got this Freightliner M2106. Freightliner Business Class M2106 is called on the base. So the mint green that you see is metal and then the white is plastic. So here we got the Howling Wolf logo. Again the fire emblem, fire service rescue. And then something really small at the back, satellite communications I think I can read. but. That's all I can read. Also got the light bar on top, part of the window piece. Also in 2019, this Garbage King. So plastic uh, garbage part and then metal cabin. Used to be all metal. So you got the Howling Wolf logo, Waste Services, Keep Your Park Clean, that I can read. Park it in, park it out, is that what it says? I don't know. Or push it in, oh yeah, push it in, push it out, keep your park clean, that's what it says. Cool. Oh, sorry, the Freightliner was 2018 also. I misread here. So this one was 2018, so we got quite a few uh, releases in 2018. Four of them. No, five. With, uh, or six with the five pack. Um, so this was 19, and then last one I have here 
for national parks is also 19. So this is the Hailcat. Here we get the Roundel with Trees logo. High Sierra Transport. Also got the Flame logo. Now there's two more I have that are in mint green but they're, that are officially not part of the National Parks series. There's this Toyota 4Runner that says Park Ranger but it does not say National Parks and it's got a different logo on it. Not one of the four logos we saw but it is in mint green. And the other one I have is this highway maintenance truck. It's called Plowmaster 6000 on the card. It says Forest Service next to the logo. And the logo is a Park Ranger logo also. Does this dump or do anything? No doesn't seem to. So it's got the snow plow in the front. Then we get to the next series, the ink. So that started in 2012. This is the first one, the road roller. So this one has a moving feature, so typical for ink models is the blue metal with the yellow plastic, the ink construction printed on the side and these checkered black and white tempos. The next one, 2012 also, is this Duff. XF95 Space Cab. So, pretty cool model. Matchbox Transport. Got lots of info on there that is kind of hard to read. Watch your step. An emergency check for a driver in a rear compartment <laughs> in case he's uh, sleeping in the back. <laughs> It's kind of funny they put that on there. You can actually pull a trailer with this. Fifth wheel is functional. Let's see, it says the same on the other side. Yeah, pretty cool. Then 2012, we got two real working rig rigs releases. Don't have any of those, unfortunately. In 2013 there wasn't an official release but I have this tractor and it's a blue metal, yellow plastic and white and black or black and white checkered tempos on the side but it doesn't say ink so it's not considered an official ink piece but it's got all the signs that it was meant to be one and probably just because of lack of space to put the ink equipment text on there or ink construction sorry text on there they uh, they did not put it on because otherwise they would have probably left uh, do not print the grill here and maybe that's something they did not want to leave out I don't know but it sure looks like in the ink release to me. Then we got 2014. This is the ground grinder. It's got uh, no moving feature. Kind of a strange vehicle. Then also in 2014 the International CXT. Let's 
So this one has been changed also. Uh, there's less metal on the on the bed here in the back. So this is still a mostly metal body. It's got the smokestack on this side. Cool that it's not the same on both sides. Then next up, also still in 2014, we got the scraper. It's called on the card at Matchbox HVY1. So this is also casting, it's been used in national parks and in ink. Next up we've got the drill digger. This uh, was still 2014 and it's also been used in 2019 so re-released in 2019 so again we saw this National Parks livery moving parts then the next one I have in a 2017 packaging but uh, was also released in 2015 with the all-terrain crane So this part goes up and down. The next one from 2015 from the Construction Zone 5 pack, the load lifter, I don't have. Then in 2016 we got the ground grabber. So this swivels all the way around and this goes up and down. Then we got the Dirt Smasher, still 2016. So we got a working feature. This one closes and opens. In 2017 we got the cement mixer. I started collecting in 2017. I looked for it everywhere, never found it. It's like that one never landed on European soil. I do have the five-pack construction release in 2017. The dump truck. So this got a moving feature like that. Stand clear, it says underneath construction. Looks kind of similar to the what is it? Um, oh, yeah, we're going to see it later on. I haven't seen it yet. Then, next up, 2018, the MB excavator. Now this one has a yellow piece in metal. It's the first time we see this, that uh, the blue is plastic and the yellow is metal. Usually it's the other way around, but this one it's reversed. So this arm goes up and down, whoops, and it comes off too if you're not careful. And this thing turns all the way around apparently. Yep. Got a black base. Still in 2018 we got the Crop Master. So this has a metal unpainted base and then metal blue part, a plastic yellow part. That's really a hitch. Still 2018. The Glass King. A 
kind of a cool casting with the glass pieces inside there. Glass service. Got the lensed headlights and the part of the grill. And some details, spare wheel underneath. And the blue metal actually goes all the way to the back. As you can see, the mud flaps are blue. And there's some blue inside there. So, not bad. 2019, we saw the excavator. Not to be confused with the MB excavator. So this has four tiny wheels underneath. So also turns all the way around. No, it stops at a certain point, so it can only turn it up to there. And it's got the arm that goes up and down like that. And it says excavation unit 032. In 2019 it also got a working rigs release, the road scraper. It's kind of similar to uh, this one we saw, but then it's bigger brother and it's got an extra working feature. It's also got some more metal on it as you can see here, the blue part and also the yellow cab is also metal on this one. These are a little bit more expensive, that's probably why. And the extra working feature is this part here. It kind of slides back and forth like that. It says RWR, real working rigs on it. It's got a window piece in the cab, which the, uh, the other one with the plastic front end does not have. Then we got the ground grinder, still 2019 mainline. Now you will say, hey we've seen that already. Yeah that's true but it's not the same. Look, it's got uh, yellow here where there was gray before and it's got a red, uh, sorry, black plastic cabin where there was a yellow plastic cabin before. So kind of different. And then the last one I have, 2019 release also, is the ground breaker. This has a moving part. So there were 2020 releases of uh, uh, both ink construction and national parks. I don't have those yet. So I can't show you those. Also got the four wheels here. Maintenance crew, it says on the engine cover. And then we go to Ronic. Ronic equipment. First release in 2010 in the real working rigs is the Matchbox Crane. So Ronic, Ronic is actually the word crane with the C written behind it. This one says heavy equipment. So what can it do? This thing goes up. You have to hold it a little bit like that because you can't see it otherwise. And this thing comes out. So that's basically what it does. It's got a kind of a piston here. A hydraulic cylinder. So the gray part is metal and then the white is plastic and then this the black part is also plastic and uh, yeah that's kind of cool then also in 2010 in the main line is a sketster so this is uh, for being so small it's pretty heavy because it's all metal it's got a working feature you can actually use these levers here in the back to lift it up like that so it's kind of well designed, I think. It's got some text there, but it's so small. Ooh. Warning, do not exceed load capacity of two 
tons. Okay, cool. Then next up is the scraper. So the one we saw in the ink and in the national parks. They also released it in Aronic. Unfortunately, I don't have that one. That was 2012. Then we jumped to 2014, the load lifter. I don't have that one either. And it's not been released in uh, any of the other ones, so I can show you. Then 2015, we saw the Ford F-150 contractor's truck. This one has the tempo in the back. Very nicely done. It's got the even tempos in the front. And some uh, gear in the back. And then we jump to 2019. Because there were no releases between 15 and 19. Got the turf hauler. One dumps, kind of a dump truck. Yeah, it says so in the front too. And also in 2019, the tree lugger. So this one tilts. Again, don't have any of the 2020 releases. So that's it for this video. I thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.